everyone, I'm Selena Winpei. I'm one of the many hostages here at the Lind Cafe at Martin Place. We had three specific requests and none of those have been met. One is to send an IS flag as soon as possible and one hostage will be released. To please broadcast on all media that this is an attack on Australia by the Islamic State. And number three is that we need Tony Abbott to contact the brother on a live feed and five hostages will be released. Most importantly, there are three bombs around George Street, Martin Place and also at Circular Quay. And in order for those not to be ignited, we need this, these three things to be met as soon as possible. Please help us. My name is Julie Taylor, I'm a barrister in Sydney. Um, this is a message for Tony Abbott. We're here with um, our brother who's asked for three simple things. And the first is that Tony Abbott calls him live in the media to have a short conversation. If he does that, five of us will be allowed to go. We can't understand why that hasn't happened. The second is that he wants the politicians to announce the truth, which is that this is an attack by Islamic State on Australia. And if that's done, then two of us will be allowed to go. And the third is that he wants an Islamic State flag delivered to us here. And then if, um, he does, if, if you do that, then one of us will be allowed to go. Okay, that's uh, it. This is a message to Tony Abbott. Um, we're held here hostage. The brother has three requests. One is for him to get an IS um, flag and he will release one hostage. The second one is for the media to inform the other brothers not to, to um, expose the other two bombs which are also in the city. There are four bombs all together here. And the third uh, request is for Tony Abbott to contact the brother um, via live um, web somehow and he will release five hostages. We don't understand why his demands haven't been met yet. They are not unreasonable. He's only asking for a flag and a phone call and that's it.